Peugeot 308 debuted in the fall of 2007 at the Frankfurt Motor Show and almost immediately went on sale, replacing its predecessor with serial number 307, which was in very good demand on the Russian market. And our first 308s appeared in the winter of 2008. And just a few months later, complaints from angry customers began to arrive. However, more on that later. The car was produced with a 3 and 5 door hatchback SW station wagon as well as a stylish 308cc hardtop coupe cabriolet. Moreover, the three-door was not officially sold with us. Since 2010, the assembly of the model has been established near Kaluga, where modifications were made with a 1.6-liter atmospheric engine, 120 horsepower, and a 5-speed manual gearbox or a 4-speed automatic. In addition, all Russian-made cars had additional crankcase protection a high-capacity battery and a reinforced suspension with a 10 mm higher ground clearance. Versions with turbo engines were brought from France. And after a couple of years, the production of the model at the facilities of the Kaluga plant was turned off. The interior of the Peugeot 308 pleases with impeccable ergonomics and solid finishing materials. The car was first sold in three basic versions Comfort Pack, Premium and Premium Pack. If the base one was almost empty, two airbags, an electro-hydraulic power steering, ABS with EBD, a servo drive for the front windows and mirrors, then the average configuration already had everything you need, front and side airbags, climate control, a servo drive for all heated windows and mirrors, fog lights. After restyling in 2011, the names of the three main trim levels changed to Access, Active and Allure. Engine. The Peugeot 308 was equipped with 1.4 liter, 95 horsepower, 1.6 liter, 120 horsepower, and 1.6 liter turbocharged, 140, 150, and 175 horsepower petrol engines. Turbo diesels are represented by units of 1.6 liters, 90 and 109 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 136 horsepower. Russian dealers did not officially sell the modification with the base, 4, and diesel versions were delivered to order. After the modernization of 2011, power of some engines increased, and the 175 horsepower version of the 1.6 petrol began to produce 200 horsepower at all. The most common engine on a used Peugeot 308 is a 1.6 liter, 4, 120 horsepower. Its Achilles heel is the timing mechanism, the chain is stretched, 3,200 rubles, and the cooling system, pump, 3,800 rubles and thermostat, 4,200 rubles. True. After restyling they became more reliable. 1.6 petrol engines were developed by the French together with BMW specialists. So they turned out to be the weakest link on the first machines. On EP6 aspirated engines, the timing chain was extended to 50 to 60,000 kilometers. And the sprockets on the shafts were fastened only with bolts without fixing with the key or other locking devices. Therefore, even with their slight rotation, the phases left, and in some cases the valves met with the pistons. The manufacturer recognized the problem as a warranty case, and repairs were made free of charge, as well as frequent malfunctions of the clutch of the variable valve timing system on the intake shaft, its control valve usually failed. Together with the stretch timing chain, 3,200 rubles, the drive belt of mounted units, which was worn out by this time, 2,000 rubles, was often changed. Problems have not bypassed the cooling system. The pump rarely serves more than 50,000 kilometers periodically. The level of the coolant should be monitored. However, not only because of a leaking pump, antifreeze can also leak through the seals of temperature sensors, which also did not differ in durability. Worse than the other, through the wires, the cooler can get to the engine control unit, 15,000 rubles, and soak. Turbocharged versions suffer from the same bunch of problems as naturally aspirated engines. They also like to feast on motor oil. The starter retractor relay is occasionally buggy, the generator winding is on fire, the ignition coil breaks through to ground, various electronic sensors fail. And on top of that, in early cars, the inlet channels of the ventilation system and valves were very quickly covered with soot. Therefore, there was not enough incoming air for the normal operation of the turbine, and the motor abruptly lost traction. Most of the weaknesses of the 308 got rid of after the modernization of 2011, the timing mechanism was improved, the chain was strengthened, the injection system and pump were modernized, replacing its plastic case with a metal one. 
but in order for the engines of the EP6 and EP6DT series to serve as long as they are designed, and this is 250 to 300,000 kilometers, you must use synthetic oils and refuel with high-quality gasoline and proven gas stations. Here, too, there is an ambush, and it is called Automatic 4-Speed Transmission AL4. It would seem that only the lazy did not note its malfunction, but the French continued to install this transmission on their models with enviable persistence. Moreover, the automatic transmission is periodically upgraded, which, in general, does not greatly affect its durability. But in fairness, we note that the latest versions of the unit have significantly increased its mileage before overhaul to 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Moreover, the third and fourth, since 2011, modifications of this box have been used on the Peugeot 308. It is initially considered maintenance-free, but in the conditions of Russian operation, it is recommended to update the oil every 50 to 60,000 kilometers. AKP does not like sharp starts in the cold, towing heavy trailers and ragged driving style. At risk is a valve body, from 22,000 rubles, and a torque converter. There are even known cases of spontaneous unscrewing of the valve body bolts. The control electronics are often weird, the box control unit, 18,000 rubles, is susceptible to water and dirt. AL4 was installed with 1.6-liter petrol engines, and after restyling with a 1.6 turbo engine, they began to install a more modern six-speed automatic Eisen, with which there are practically no problems. Mechanical five- and six-speed gearboxes are reliable. On the five-step, after 100,000 kilometers, the linkage of the lever may become loose. Repair with the replacement of plastic bushings will cost 3,500 rubles. On six-speed manual gearboxes, combined with powerful gasoline and diesel engines, synchronizers can weaken. On older specimens, external CV joints crunch, monitor the integrity of their rubber, or plastic, anthers. The infamous AL4 automatic transmission was noted for its inherent problems on the 308 as well. After 100,000 kilometers, you will inevitably have to spend money on repairing the valve body, from 25,000 rubles. It is useful to stock up on funds to eliminate other possible problems. Suspension. The suspension of the Peugeot 308 is simple in design, front McPherson struts, and a torsion beam at the rear. The stabilizer struts will be the first to announce themselves, 1,200 rubles each active drivers change them for 20 to 30,000 kilometers. The failure of the support bearings of the front struts, 1,100 rubles each, will be announced by 50 to 80,000 kilometers of squeaks and springy sounds when the steering wheel is turned. Hub bearings, 3,500 rubles each, are usually updated simultaneously with ball bearings to 100,000 kilometers. There is nothing special to break in the rear suspension, unless silent blocks made of soft rubber eventually make adjustments to the handling and comfort of the car. Shock absorbers, 4,500 rubles each, lose their efficiency by 100,000 kilometers. And if the rear wheel bearing buzzes, prepare 7,000 rubles. To replace it, it comes complete with the brake disc. The body is well protected from corrosion, but the chips rust pretty quickly. The front plastic fenders can warp in the sun, and in the rain, it floods the power windows. Rear door lock switches fail. Headlight caps quickly become cloudy. Often the dip beam bulbs and dimensions burn out. Modifications Peugeot 308 the three-door version of the Peugeot 308 debuted at the same time as the five-door, and at first it was offered to customers by official dealers. But two years later, in fact, before the start of assembly in Kaluga, its sales in Russia were officially curtailed due to lack of demand. The car has the same dimensions and wheelbase length as the five-door hatchback. Even the volume of the luggage compartment for both modifications is the same. According to the engines and gearboxes used, the machines are also completely unified. If it is the three-door version of the 308 that is needed, it will most likely have to be ordered abroad. There are very few such cars on our secondary market. Peugeot 308 SW Station Wagon Peugeot 308 SW Station Wagon debuted in the spring of 2008 at the Geneva Motor Show. The French managed to make a practical station wagon, in no way inferior in design to fashionable hatchbacks. And this despite the fact that the car is much larger than the, it is 225 millimeters longer in length, and the wheelbase exceeds 100 millimeters. The increase in size and base made it possible to accommodate up to seven people in the cabin. Moreover, in the base five-seater Peugeot 308 SW, 
one or two of the three seats in the second row can be easily dismantled and rearranged in the trunk. Interior transformation is even better than in minivans. In the Russian secondary market, this practical station wagon costs only 10 to 20% more than a five-door hatchback similar in terms of equipment and technical equipment. Peugeot 308 cc. Stylish, one might even say outrageous, hardtop coupe convertible Peugeot 308 cc was first shown in the fall of 2008 at the Paris Motor Show. And official sales in Russia started in the spring of 2009. Of course, there was no rush demand for it. But among the competing models, the 308 SS is without a doubt the most sought after. It is built on the 307 SS platform, but has become slightly larger and more spacious, and the body is stiffer. Only modifications with 1.6-liter turbo engines were supplied to the Russian market. Restyling In the spring of 2011, the Peugeot 308 underwent a minor restyling. Externally, the updated car can be recognized by the boomerangs of running lights and, like the ajar mouth of a predatory fish, the radiator grille. And the front license plate is no longer attached to the lower edge of the bumper, but above. The interior remained the same only new colors and textures of the interior upholstery appeared. But there are innovations in technology. Engine power has increased, and paired with 1.6-liter turbo engines, 140, 150 and 156 horsepower, instead of the old and unreliable 4-speed automatic transmission, a 6-speed automatic transmission manufactured by the Japanese company Eisen Warner is now offered. The official sale of the upgraded machines began in July 2011. 